The proponents of the censure motion against the Minister of State for Housing, Pasis Namuganza, have vehemently rejected what they see as plans by the National Resistance Movement Party to intervene in the matter. Save my party, NRM. Because now you can see how everyone now wants to bring Namugans into, into the film of NRM. No, she did it alone. The growing momentum for the censure motion saw members of parliament today irritated when Information Minister Dr. Chris Bariomunsi yesterday indicated that the NRM leadership would resolve the differences between Namuganza and the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among. But the NRM party undertakes to meet the two leaders, if at all there is a conflict, and then we harmonize them, we reconcile them so that we can put more concentration on issues which benefit Ugandans, but not just quarrels. They demanded that the NRM respect the procedures of the legislature in bringing the minister to order. To agree with the Honorable Yona that the Chris Variomus, who was there during the days of Nevada, if he gets this one in the room, they fight and kill each other. And I want to call him to give respect in institution of parliament because he's part of us. Chris Bariomos, he must know that he's a senior minister in government and what he's doing to insult the parliament is contempt of parliament. He is, before coming a minister, is a member of parliament and he must help us to implement parliamentary resolutions. So my senior brother, the Honorable Chris Bariomosi, what you are doing to attack parliament is contempt of parliament. The deputy chairperson of the Rules Committee, Charles Onen, has threatened to quit the committee provided the NRM interferes with the process. And for me, as a deputy chair for Rules, if this issue is going to be turned between Namu Gaza and then the speaker, I will resign from being the deputy chair for Rules. Because the rules is not NRM rules, it is the rules of parliament, not the rules of the NRM party. Onen indicates that the direction would be selective implementation of the rules of parliament to favor a few and punish the others. However, he pointed out that the process used to eject Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament Francis Zake from the position of commissioner was irregular. It means now, even Zake who was, kangaroo in, was handled in a kangaroo way, should have to be reinstated as a commissioner. When we table our report, you know, immediately uh, somebody should have come up with an amendment that, you know, we amend the, the recommendation of the committee of rules that Zakir be censored. But immediately, within a few minutes, Zakir was censored. Namganza's tribulation started when she criticized an ad hoc committee on the Naguru Nakawa estate land in a tirade on a parliamentary WhatsApp group. Proceed, I cannot participate in an illegality. It is okay, Honorable Minister. It is okay. The ad hoc committee had found her culpable of parceling out plots of land using a non-existent presidential directive. The censure of the minister, who doubles as the Bukono County Member of Parliament, has divided the House, with some now considering it a trivial matter. You have, been had, you have had many, many scandals here. We have many ministers who are incompetent, and they have never even started the censure motion. I don't know why this one should become a serious matter when somebody is overheard or somebody comments on social media that this is so serious that now we must start the censure process. The mobilizers for the censure confirmed to have obtained the 176 signatures required for the motion to be tabled in Parliament. Jackson Onyango, NTV, at Parliament.